my kid. You must burn. You gotta burn. You hear me? You kill the good kid. Family members distraught, one father in anguish, interrupting a news conference with police and having to be turned away. It only took 10 seconds, and in the end, 23 people were hit, two of them killed. And now a large reward is being offered to anyone who can help bring justice to these families. We have live TV coverage of this deadly ambush. We begin with Local 10 Syrah Onwar with word that a critical clue may have just been found. Syrah. So, Louis, big developments in this investigation today. Just hours ago, police finding that getaway Nissan Pathfinder. And earlier today, they released surveillance video of the shooters in the moments before and after they went on their deadly spree. In just 10 seconds, two dead, 21 injured. The shooters shown in this surveillance video. Hoods over their heads as they get out of a white Nissan Pathfinder, then run back in after firing 100 bullets into a crowd. Police say some people in the crowd returned fire, but the shooters look unharmed as they speed away from the scene. It all happened early Sunday morning at the El Mula Banquet Hall, the spot rented out for an album release party for a local rapper. When the concert was over, people started walking out of the venue and bullets started raining. More than 100 evidence markers covering bullet shell casings. Police now confirming 23 people were shot. Two died. Among the injured people rushed to various emergency rooms, three arrived in critical condition. Today, Miami-Dade investigators confirmed they found a white Nissan Pathfinder submerged in a canal near 154th Street and Northwest 2nd Avenue. They pulled that Pathfinder out this afternoon. The vehicle was reported stolen two weeks ago. Police confirming this is the getaway car from the shooting. I'm sorry, I, can't, I really don't want to talk about it right now. Their pain expressed in a small memorial. These are family and friends of victims showing up to the scene this morning. Miami-Dade State Attorney's gang prosecutors now working with police to ID and arrest the shooters. So $130,000, that is a reward amount right now that's been contributed to from individuals and agencies for anyone who can come forward with information that leads to an arrest of those shooters. If you have any information, give Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers a call. That number is 305-471-TIPS. Reporting live in Northwest Miami-Dade, Syrah Onworth, Local 10 News.